Welcome, 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 welcome. To, to Just Breathe. And this is absolutely meant to just be a little taste of connection with prana. So right. I'm literally going to use my phone to start us off here. But before I do, is there any questions that you already know about pranayama or what your experience is that either of you want to, to vocalize? Otherwise, I'm just going to guide you through a sequence of breathing. Yeah, that works for me. Great. Okay. So you can put yourself on mute or you can stay open, especially if we do any sounding, right? Sometimes that can be helpful to hear each other, but it's not a requirement. This is your practice. I'm just here to hold us all accountable, self-included, so that we can walk this path of breathing, moving, and resting. All right. So the timer is on. We're finding a comfortable seat. I'm upstairs in the studio. So not every week of, of Just Breathe will be a seated practice, but today we'll arrive here, stacking ears, shoulders, ribs, and hips, bringing in the props that you need to help support this seated shape in ease. Eyes can be open or closed as serves you best. If there are distractions around you and closing your eyes is comfortable, that's my preference, just to keep us from wandering away from the practice that is here within us. And although it's just within us that we turn our attention, it really is this connection with prana that unites us to the oneness that the universe holds as truth. And we are but an entity within that shared reality, a composite of the larger whole. Let the breath fill in the belly, ribs, and chest. And if Durga breath is familiar to you, go ahead and begin transitioning into that expansion of the belly, the ribs, and the chest. Deflate the chest, the ribs, and the belly. As we explore this edge of dexterity to break up what is the inhale into three components. Notice if it is accessible with ease or perhaps there is greater mental focus required as the muscles navigate this transfer of effort from the belly, the ribs, the chest. As we tickle this edge, become more comfortable on the edge, we enhance not only our dexterity, but our attention to the uniqueness of each and every breath so that we can accommodate on the fly, shift our breathing and we'll shift our attitude, even shift our emotional response to what is happening in the world around us. So releasing that Durga breath, coming back to an inhale and an exhale. Notice if the head or the shoulders need to shift, if the fingers or the toes or the jaw need to relax. Welcome that ease in your body as a cue, as an invitation to the ease of the mind. 
and the gentle receiving of this breath. As if watching from an outsider, the witness, maintaining a tempo, count how long it takes for your inhale and then your exhale. There's no right number. It's just the tempo and the consistency so that we can see the relationship. Now, much like we tested the dexterity, let's test the volume, the extension of these abdominal muscles, these breath muscles, and add on a count to the length of your inhale and the length of your exhale. Now, if your inhale is already longer, then bring them into a little more of an evenness. If your exhale is longer, then let that be exaggerated to a comfort that you can sustain. So for me, I'm gonna inhale. And that's about four or five. And then the exhale, at least four or five, maybe six or seven. The tempo, just consistent, so the count does not matter. If the tolerance is there, extend into a deeper breath and a more empty exhale. Stay with this or lengthen the pause between that flow transition, meaning lengthen the pause as you fill up, hold that breath full. Maybe it matches the length of your inhale. Exhale, hold the breath empty. Again, maybe it matches the length of your inhale or even your exhale. Box breath. You can make them even or any more rectangular shape, four-sided shape. Can you see it in your mind's eye? The shape that your breath would make if you were to draw a line for the length of the inhale, the pause, the exhale, the pause to bring you back where you began with permission to begin again each circle slash quadrangle of breath. So one more variation in this box breath, and this is one that I'm personally exploring, still very new in my own exploration. But I start the inhale with the shortest count, what I found at the very beginning. So that that inhale for me is four, then the pause, five count, the exhale, six count, and again, the pause, seven count. So I'm just adding on one count to each leg of that box breath. 
From there, you can continue to expand, making the inhale even longer if you choose. As you exhale, release this pranayam and come back to the even in and out. And in this even out, even in and even out, can you allow some sound to exhale? Maybe let the mouth fall open and sigh. Maybe let the mouth stay closed and hum. Choose a sound that might just be at the edge of your comfort level here in this space. Ah. Ah. Mm. Come back to an easy in and out. Start to open your senses to the world around you. First noticing perhaps what you smell, what you hear. Where is your touch aware of where your body might rest, your clothes might tickle, your posture is supported. Maybe there's even some lingering taste on your tongue. And then gently start to open the eyes and look around, keeping the head still, move the eyeballs to take in from your peripheral up and around. Noticing perhaps that your eyes can see more color, more distinction. You might even look to see if there is something new to be discovered. And then go ahead and move the head. Again, looking to take all of this in. Notice your body as if watching 
without judgment. Feel your breath. And affirming that you are safe and that you have practiced well simply by showing up and breathing. Come back to a centered place, eyes open or closed. Hands across your heart together or maybe even palms up. And consider your intention moving into the rest of your day. Congratulations for just breathing for showing up just as you are. May you breathe deeply and move freely so you may labor lovingly and know the joy of living intimately with prana, living vibrantly. Namaste. Thank you for sharing this practice. Look forward to seeing you soon.